Hey guys, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about different types of feedback inhibition. Feedback inhibition is a phenomenon in which the end product of a biochemical pathway inhibits the first enzyme of the pathway. The enzyme that is regulated by feedback inhibition has two sides. One is the active side where the substrate gets converted into product, and the other is the allosteric side where the end product binds and inhibits the enzyme. The end product binding at the allosteric site is also called regulator. Okay, now let's see different types of feedback inhibition. Different types of feedback inhibition are multivalent feedback inhibition, cooperative feedback inhibition, cumulative feedback inhibition, sequential feedback inhibition, and isoenzyme feedback inhibition. Let's talk about each of them. Multivalent feedback control. In this type of feedback control mechanism, the end products of the pathway together inhibits the first enzyme of the pathway. The inhibition usually occurs when the concentration of end products increases. Number 2. Cooperative Feedback Control This is similar to multivalent feedback control mechanism. The end product of a pathway together inhibits the first enzyme of the pathway. However, in cooperative feedback control mechanism, the individual end products inhibits the enzyme at the branch point independently. Number 3. Cumulative feedback control. In this type of feedback control mechanism, the end product of the pathway inhibits the first enzyme of the pathway by certain percentage independently. Number 4. Sequential feedback control mechanism. In this type of mechanism, the end product of the pathway inhibits the enzyme at the branch point. Hence, the concentration of intermediate which is at the branch point increases. As the concentration of intermediate increases, it inhibits the first enzyme of the pathway. Number 5. Isoenzyme control Isoenzymes are the enzymes that catalyze same reaction but differ in their control characteristic. Now, because they are different in their control characteristic, the isoenzyme can be controlled by different end products. For example, in this case, the end product D inhibits the isoenzyme 1, whereas the end product F inhibits isoenzyme 2.